Hi Yagami here, today you're going to learn how to use 3D skyboxes which you need in order to make your map feel bigger than it actually is. So open up Hammer, open up your puny map, and we'll get started. Here we have this really tiny map, it's a block with a guy standing on it. So, if you want to make this feel bigger than it actually is, this is our entire map by the way. I'm using the dev underscore measure generic texture. We're going to add just some random scenery. I already got something sorted out here, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring these edges out with the vertex edit tool. That looks good. And we'll make those higher. That doesn't look right. Oh god, what have I done? Let's try that again. Okay, we'll get this out here instead. As long as I'm using the right tool, it should work. Right. Am I doing this right? Yes, I am. Okay. Now let's bring this edge upwards. Not that edge. No, 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 no. Okay, this is when a hammer starts misbehaving itself. It does some weird stuff. You just have to kick it into submission, basically. Right now, we'll copy that for the uh, the top of the top, and we'll move those around like this. Excellente. Make all these this texture, so it's all orange. So you can't walk on the orange. I'll make that quite sure. So here, your entire map was this block, and now I have made the orange scenery around it. Now I want this orange scenery to be outside the map, and I don't want it to take up much performance. So, I don't want this orange stuff to be part of the map. It's actually orange, I don't even know what colour that is. Right. So, we'll drag it across to some off place. Oh, that's not dragging, that's, that's duplicating. There we go. We'll seal off the map with the skybox. Let's try this now. This is the most claustrophobic thing I think I've ever made. So I'm just doing this all duplication, rotation trick, get things done quickly. Control to select multiple items, of course. SSKY, skybox texture, good, there's a skybox, there's a floor. And we'll save that. Over here we have what we want to be as scenery. So now I'm going to take you through what skyboxes actually do as a 3D skybox. A 2D skybox is just a box with sky textures. A 3D skybox has geometry, so it has 3D stuff, as the name 3D skybox suggests. So here I'm just going to put in some blocks. I have a nice grey coloured block, actually, just going to the recent history. It's a lot faster. A grey block there, and some block up here, and we'll have a little tiny wall next to our player. There. So all these are going to be outside the map as opposed to inside the map. Now uh, I'm just going to block off the hole at the bottom so that it doesn't leak into the void. It's called the void, yes, it's quite an epic name for something so scary. And I'm going to seal this off with the skybox at the top. Hopefully that will work. Uh, so, this is going to be our geometry outside the map. Let's select all this, and how 3D skyboxes work is that it makes something really small and projects it in 3D <coughs> over something really uh, quite large. In our case, this is the large thing even though it's pretty tiny. This is going to be a sixteenth of its size, so it takes up le less, uh, less memory but also gives the illusion that the map is a lot bigger than it actually is. Now how we do this is to use a sky underscore camera entity. I should have done this before. <coughs> I'm terribly sorry. Uh, what am I doing? Sky underscore camera. Now the sky camera acts as the origin point, except for your disembodied outer map. 
we go into our tiny thing, if I just hide the guy with the H key, we see this this collection of lines here. That's the origin. Um, if you can see color, then there are blue lines in the 3D grid, or at least in the middle here, which also represent the origin. Same in the other views. So I just hit U to unhide these items. So the origin is where the middle of the floor there is set to. This was what we put around the map. This is the outer shell, which you can't go to, but you can see. And since our origin was in the middle of the floor, which was in this area, I'll put it there. So you can see it's actually, since I put this in line with our map, you can see it's at its feet. It's not quite, yeah, it is in the middle, okay. So if we were to take our map and put it here, the origin would be here, as it is at his feet. Or her, to be politically correct, of course. Now, since the 3D skybox is a sixteenth of the size of the actual map, we want to decrease the size of this. So how do we do that? We go to transform here, and we go to scale, and then we type in 0 0.0625, which is a sixteenth. Although, the textures are going to go crazy. They're going to be really big. So we need to go on scaling texture lock. I disabled this in my first tutorial. And now I'm re-enabling it just for this. Although I will disable it afterwards again, because you just need it for this particular operation. Tools, transform, scale, 0 0.0625. Copy paste that for everything. OK. So now you can see it's pretty tiny. And the uh, sky camera is pretty, pretty massive. Well, that's all we need right now. I'm just going to quickly get out my calculator to make sure 0 0.065 is actually 16. Yeah, it is. Good. Well, at least that's correct. Now I'm going to get a light environment, put it into our map here. So I'll just copy one from another map I did. Bam. Right. So I'll save that. Also, if you use an env underscore fog controller, um, which you can go to 3Clicks Philips channel to learn about, I recommend that. <coughs> you can also set fog for the 3D skybox. So if you want a different fog outside the map than inside the map, you can set it here. Or if you want the same fog, you can also set it here using fog enable under these parameters. So let's compile this baby. Now let's go to the map and have a look. All right, so here's what we stand on, this thing here. And out here, we can't go there. There's the outside of the map. The very edges of the square are the outside of the map. But out there, we can see it's a lot bigger than it actually is. So what's happened is that this has been scaled up 16 times and it's being projected into 3D around us. So it rotates with our view. So let's say if I go out the map, that's how big it actually is. When I go in, you can see the outside. Over here, if I keep flying, come on, take your time. Right, so this is the actual size of the 3D skybox. You can see my gun is going through this. I could stand on top of it. Well, I could if, if it would allow me to, but I can't. Yeah, and it's pretty, Pretty tiny. I'm not quite sure why the sky is um, freaking out. It shouldn't be, but it appears to be. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will answer comments as long as they're not stupid and badly, badly worded. If you misspell something and put in bad grammar, I will slam you for it. But other than that, I will say cheerio.